Ilya Chavchavadze is Georgia's most universally revered hero. He's regarded as the father of the nation. He was even canonized in 1987 as St. Ilya the Righteous. He spearheaded Georgian nationalism in the 19th century and he was the mentor to one Joseph Stalin. Hello, Kama Joba. My name is Jim, Makriya Jimmy. This is my channel. Books, Tsignebi, reading, Kitwa, and stuff, Tsukwa. Ilya Chavchavadze was a Georgian public figure, a journalist, a poet, a writer, a publisher. He published two magazines, Sakatvelo Muambe and Iveria. And it was in Iveria that five of the young Stalin's poems were published. In his book, Young Stalin, Simon Sibad Montefiore talks about when Stalin met Ilya Chavchavadze. At the end of term, Soso, which was Stalin, took his poems to the offices of the famous newspaper Iveria, where he was received by the country's greatest poet, Prince Ilya Chavchavadze, a romantic nationalist who believed in an agrarian Georgia ruled by an enlightened aristocracy. The prince was sufficiently impressed to show the teenager's work to his editors. He admired Stalin's verse, choosing five poems to publish, quite an achievement for the young Stalin. Prince Chavchavadze called Stalin the young man with the burning eyes. Stalin always praised Ilya Chavchavadze's poetry into his old age, but he may have been tangentially responsible for his assassination, his close comrade, Sergo Ojonikidze, may have organised or taken part in the assassination. The details are still controversial to this day. We don't know what exactly happened. Elia Chavchavadze's important literary works include The Hermit, Otterant Widow, Kako the Robber, Happy Nation, and is a man a human? I haven't found English translations of those. What I did find was an English translation of On the Gallows, Sacho Belazad. Uh, this is actually bilingual. There's Georgian in the first part and English in the second part. It was published in 2022. I'm seeing there's more. Georgian literature being translated into English, which is great because I'm looking for Georgian literature in English because my Georgian is still very scant. It was translated by Maya Kia Sashvili. And on the gallows is the story of this old drover, elderly drover called Peter. Uh, the story starts where he is comes across these two young men who say they've been the victims of a Russian cab driver who took their money and their belongings to feel sorry for them and lets them stay as guests with him and they rob him. Then it's four years later, Peter has given up being a drover because of the humiliation of the experience and he goes to Tbilisi and in Tbilisi to buy some millstones and in Tbilisi he hears news of a hanging and he becomes interested but when he goes to the hanging he sees a lot of women there so he thinks this is not a suitable entertainment for women so maybe this is not a real hanging maybe it's a comic farce and they're trying to pull one over on this country yokel uh, I won't tell you any more I don't want to spoil what happens it was interesting for me. I wish I could read it in the original Georgian. Uh, I hope to read more books by other eminent Georgian writers translated into English. I read Iggy by Jamal Kachkadze last month. I'll link to the review for that here. This was interesting. This again is a recent publication. This has just came out this year, 2023. So I hope this is a sign of something in Georgian publishing, the, publishing the works in English so that they're accessible to a much wider audience. 
If you enjoyed this video, you can like and subscribe below, and I'll see you on the next video. Nachondis, goodbye.